Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. For this one, we're going to be needing some polymer clay. And I'm using a transparent or translucent polymer clay. I didn't need that much at all. I'm just going to be working with a, an X-Acto or a cutter. And I'm just going to cut two pieces out of that piece. And then I'm just going to shape small balls to make it like the face of Mickey Mouse. Out of the leftover pieces, I'm going to gather four more pieces for the ears. I'm going to gather those four pieces and I'm going to work my way and make them smaller than the previous ones. You just have to kind of like choose how much you, you want, depending on the size you want to go for. And once you're done, you just arrange them as Mickey faces. Then I'm going to be taking a pin out of this other DIY a pin holder that I made and I'm just going to make holes on the top of the heads just so I can bake them and work with them after. Then I'm going to be taking some translucent liquid sculpey. This is like glue for polymer clay and you just bake it and it hardens and it works pretty well. So I'm just going to take some on a piece of paper then with a toothpick I'm just going to glue my two ears per face. and yeah until they can stay in there so once they are ready i'm just going to bake them with my pins on them just have to follow your polymer clay instructions once they are done and cooled this is what sort of they look like i'm going to be taking some black acrylic paint and a brush and i'm just going to paint the whole thing giving this a few coats I'm painting them black, but you can go ahead and paint them, you know, silver, gold, rose gold. It's pretty much up to you and what you have. I chose black because I didn't have any rose gold or any silver, but yeah, I think with black it looks pretty cool as well. And I'm just going to be taking a foam block and I'm just going to place them so I can leave them to until they are dry. Then once they are dry, I'm going to be taking my big matte top coat and I'm using matte because I want to go for a matte finish but if you want them glossy, just add normal gloss to it and I'm just using something for nails and this is because I didn't have anything proper for crafts and jewelry making so this is the one that I use but it works as fine. I'm just going to be, well, covering the whole thing and just letting it dry after that. I'm going to be taking some ear pasts and some pliers and with my pliers, I'm just going to cut off the bottom part so I can then place them where my pin is so i'm just going to remove my pin and then i'm going to be using some epoxy glue mixtures epoxy glue hot glue guns don't work at all for this uh, just i'm preventing you from you know wasting product this epoxy glues are the kind of like blue glues that work for this kind of products and i'm just going to place it inside until it's dry and set and yeah this is pretty much the whole thing that i wanted to share this day it's pretty simple pretty cool it's super easy the only thing that took me the longest time is um like the sizes of my Mickey Mouse's face and all that stuff. Again, sizes depends on like personal preference. But other than that, it's so much fun to make. If you like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more jewelry. I do have a playlist of um, all the things that I've made on my channel and subscribe for more stuff to come. Um, and share this one so more people can join and watch. Thank you so much for watching. I will hope you like it. Uh, let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.